There are a lot of reasons why Toyota is the most popular brand in Australia. And one of those is the company's constant focus on making improvements. For example, this is the 2018 Toyota Prado. It's already Australia's best-selling large SUV, but that hasn't stopped the Japanese brand from making a range of improvements. Toyota has given the Prado a number of upgrades to keep it fresh and on top of the sales charts. The most noticeable is the new look grille, but inside there's a new look dashboard and infotainment system. On the top spec Kakadu, Toyota has added a new drive select system and a panoramic parking camera. This is the top of the range Kakadu model, so there is a ton of gear in here. There's everything from leather electric seats to leather steering wheel, uh, electrical adjusted steering column, there's heated seats and cooled seats in the front, heated seats in the back, there's air conditioning controls in the back with vents right through the roof to keep everyone in the car nice and cool. There's a DVD player in the roof to keep the kids a little bit quiet, or hopefully on a trip. Sunroof and the overall presentation and feel of the cabin is quite nice really and they use good quality materials. Yeah, it's a nice place to be. As for the way it drives, well, it's not bad to be honest. It's it's big, it's heavy, and it's a little bit floaty. It's certainly no sports car. And around the city and streets like this, to be honest, it doesn't make sense to me. But let's face it, that's where a lot of them are gonna spend their time. So in regards to that, it still e is an easy car to drive. It's got good vision, and the mirrors have got good vision. Toyota has axed the unpopular petrol engine. So the Prado is now powered exclusively by the 2.8 litre four-cylinder turbo diesel. As for the way it goes, well, 130 kilowatts and 450 newton metres of torque, it's quite a bit, but the car does weigh almost 2,500 kilos, so you're not gonna win too many races at the traffic light -like Grand Prix, although that's what it's not meant for. Uh, once it's up and running, it's quite good and an easy drive. Towing capacity has also been increased by 500 kilograms to a maximum of 3,000 kilograms braked. As an added kicker for all the changes, Toyota has actually cut the price of the Prado, not increased it. The Kakadu is $1,121 cheaper than the previous model, now starting from $84,490. That's not cheap, but you do get a lot of SUV for your money.